Hello, I am happy to have you on our channel for the body part of Big Monkey's pattern. Grab your darker color yarn, in my case dark brown, and let's start with a magic ring and six single crochets into it. So this is our first row. If you like this tutorial and maybe others, please take a minute to hit that subscribe bell so that you get notified every time we upload new videos. On the second row, we have an increase in each stitch around. That means six increases and by the end of second row you will have 12 stitches. This is my first increase, I have to do five more. On third row, we have one single crochet into the first stitch and increase into the next one. Repeat that six times. This is my first single crochet, I have an increase into the next one. This is my increase. And again, one single crochet and increase into the next one. Repeat this till the end of third round. You will be finishing the round with 18 stitches. On fourth row we have two single crochets into the next two stitches this is my first one two and an increase into the next one repeat that six times I have to do it five more times now one two and an increase by the end of fourth row you will have 24 stitches On the fifth row, we have three single crochets into the next three stitches and an increase into the next one. Repeat this six times. By the end of the fifth row, you will have 30 stitches.
let's go further to our sixth row and have four single crochets into the next four stitches and increase into the next one this is my first second third and fourth now I will do an increase do this five more times by the end of the row you will have 36 stitches On the next row, row 7, we will crochet the tail. I do not like to sew that much. This is why tail is incorporated into the pattern, into the body. And what we do is have two single crochets into the next two stitches and into the third stitch we will only use the front loop for a single crochet so this is my second and now I do only a front loop single crochet so only there I'm using only the front loop I hope you see what I'm doing I do my single crochet and then chain 30 and now starting from second chain from the hook i will turn and have 29 slip stitch so not the first one the second one and let's do some slip stitch 29 in total
and now when almost done I will do it on this V section I don't know if this has a name I go through those two loops and make another single crochet over there I really don't know how to call it so like this and then continue with 33 single crochets into the next 33 stitches by the end of the row you will have 36 stitches the reason I've used that front loop only single crochet is because on the next row on the eighth row we will work on the back loop only of that same stitch so that we don't have gaps into our work because of the tail I will soon be finishing 7th row with 36 stitches let me show you how my tail looks like you can make it longer or shorter just changing the number of chains that we are using we can go now and work on our 8th row and have 2 single crochets into the next two stitches and into the third we will work only into the back loop on the previous round we've used the front loop only of that same stitch now we are using the back loop to make a single crochet and continue making 33 single crochets till the end of the row as I said, I'm doing this so that I don't have gaps into my work because of the tail. By the end of row 8, you will have 36 stitches. Let's work on row 9 and have 36 single crochets into the next 36 stitches. So one single crochet in each stitch around. row 10 we have four single crochets into the next four stitches and a decrease into the next ones I will repeat this six times the 
So this is one, two, three, and four. Now we decrease only the front loops of the next two stitches and have the decrease. Repeat this five more times. By the end of 10th row, you will have 30 stitches. On row 11 till row 13, we will only be single crocheting around and have 30 single crochets in the next 30 stitches for 3 rounds. So 30 single crochets for 3 rounds. I'll meet you back here after finishing row 13. On row 14, we have 3 single crochets into the next 3 stitches and a decrease. Repeat that 6 times. 1, 2, 3 and a decrease. So only the front loops only of the next 2 stitches. And again 1, 2, 3 the decrease repeat this till the end of the round by the end of the row you will have 24 stitches From row 15 to 16, we will only be single crocheting around. You will have 24 single crochets for the next two rows. If you haven't pushed that notification bell yet and the subscription button, please do so. And I will also appreciate any like button or comment in the comment sections below. I finished my 16th row, I can go to my 17th and have 2 single crochets into the next 2 stitches and a decrease. Repeat this 6 times, 1, 2 and now a decrease. And again, 1 single crochet, 
two single crochets and a decrease. Do this till the end of the row and finish the row with 18 stitches. We are so close to finishing the body, now row 18, we will be single crochet around, so 18 single crochets and we finish the body with a slip stitch. You can now start stuffing the body. I I'm hoping by now you enjoy working with velvet yarn if you haven't used it before. In the next video I will show you how to do the arms. See you next time!